Hello. I am the witch Arachne. Tonight, we shall enter a new era of fear and madness. I will be the mother of all things. Hey there, it's Heather Smiling. Today I'm bringing you a little blast from the past, not quite 800 years, but yeah. I filmed most of this tutorial slash get ready with me about a year ago, and so some of the techniques might not necessarily be as correct or efficient as they could be, but the products and the style I'm doing is pretty much the same. The Heretic Witch Arachne has glowing porcelain skin, so after priming my face and using concealer to block out my eyebrows and other imperfections, I go back with a thicker white concealer to create an extra pale base. Next, I use the lightest shade of foundation or BB cream I had on hand. To contour my face, I used a cooler shade of brown and blended it to look fairly natural. I didn't want the cool shades of brown to look too heavy or else they might make my face look a little too gaunt. For my brows, I used some gray eyeliner to define thin, curvy brows and set it with black powder. I was just able to draw the lines and taper the product to create the illusion of fine brows since my brows are already quite sparse, but if you have thicker brows, you may want to block them out with the glue stick method or perhaps embrace your own brows for a really strong, sharp, and fierce look. I do some quick highlighting and then prime my lids. Using a fluffy brush, I apply a dark blue eyeshadow in my crease, creating a very deep and wide V shape. And then I extend this V to beneath the eyes. Next, I apply a purple to the whole lid. I use a shimmery silver eyeshadow to highlight the center of my eyelid and highlight my brow bone as well. After lining my tight line, I use liquid liner to really extend the size of my eyes.
and I set all of that liner with black powder. And now, fast forward a year later, I'm using the same liquid liner to draw the extra anime eyelid folds. But you'll notice I didn't take, I didn't look at a reference when I drew them here, so I'm missing an extra line that you will notice in my older photos. Use your references if you're trying to be accurate. <laughs> When you're done, add upper and lower lashes and apply lipstick. I used a matte purple as a base and layered a deep red with a glossy finish. For a darker, sultry look, I pat on some black eyeshadow and blended it out with my fingers. Taking some of the white concealer I used at the beginning, I make a small mark a little off-center on my lips and set it with a shimmery white eyeshadow. Finally, I top off the whole look with a thick, glossy red lip gloss. Okay, and so this is about where we left off last time. Um, I've already, I've already parted my hair, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this ponytail up here a bun, and we're gonna leave the tips kind of out, and then we're gonna spray it like this. Okay, so make sure your ponytail's tight and just wrap your hair into a bun. And when you have about this much left over, pin your bun up. And then you're gonna take this extra, split it in half, put a pin right here down the middle. And you're gonna take your hairspray and basically annihilate tips of your hair so that they stick up like this so they look like creepy spider legs or crusty chunks of hair see look at this 
I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> you can do this part with mousse or hair gel, but I'm just doing hairspray because I'm just wearing this for short time like hollow as a Halloween costume or something. If I was wearing this as a cosplay, I would probably use gel because that's a lot more stiff and will probably hold a lot longer. And if you think like part of it isn't standing up, you can use pins to make it um, to make the little strands stand up there. It'll look like a 90s pop star. <laughs> and then you take your curler and curl the front strands in toward your face from about your cheekbones down. Try to get your curls even. Spray. And then spray the other. And if you don't have freakishly long black hair, that's okay. You can use a wig. Um, you can just make it a casual costume and just use your own hair. That's fine too. Um, and if you have bangs, you can just split them down the middle and pin them behind the long strands to give the illusion of grown out bangs. Okay, next I'm gonna show you how to do the chest web. What you need is a ribbon, some pipe cleaners, and any kind of strappy shirt that goes like an X in the back. Um, this is actually a leotard that I had from my dance days and it has this nice kind of fancy front. If you want that, that's cool. If you just want it plain, that's nice too. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna tie the ribbon in the back like so. Okay, make sure your hair's not caught in it. Another thing that you're gonna want is one of these plastic spider rings that you can find um, pretty much any time during Halloween. That'll be like our centerpiece. And so when you're doing this look, it's easiest when the pipe cleaners are brand new. You're gonna need seven pipe cleaners, but if you have a limited number of brand new ones, you only need four out of the seven to be brand new and really straight. The rest can be pretty bent. Like see, these are my used ones. And they're bent, but if you just go like this, it's straight enough, okay? But I'm gonna use brand new ones today. So, after you've done your choker, you're gonna get three pipe cleaners. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take one and fold it up the center, two, three, like this. These are the ones that you don't need to be brand new. Okay, and then you're gonna bend it once. Oh gosh, what am I doing? Slip of a spider ring in and then bend up under the ribbon and back down around the ring. And then the ring's gonna fall out and you're just going to squish this part and try and get it to stay. You're basically just gonna do it however you need to attach it while trying to keep this fairly flat. And then the excess, you're just gonna slip in there. And secure it with the four shape. Try and make it equidistant. Now we're gonna start on the first horizontal one. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go top, and then we're gonna weave it in between these pipe cleaners, the vertical pipe cleaners, and your straps. And this is why you want the straps to have an X because side straps that just go straight down to the other side will be too far apart like bra straps, you need it to be an X in the back, like a leotard. Okay, so after you've weaved it, you're basically gonna do the four 
pattern on the sides. See? Here's a four. And then just tuck it in. So this is one. You want this one to be kind of high up near your collarbones. Uh, this is why you want these four to be brand new because you're going to be bending them like this and like this to create the pulled look of the webs. And make sure when you're doing the weaving before you do this part, oops, um, you alternate. So like this part goes under, but then this part goes over, and then this part goes under. That's just basic weaving, right? But then you also need to alternate for each row. So this one went over, but this one went under, and this one went over, and this one went oh, oh, under. Okay? So then once you do your little sharp folds, you just kind of position them so they look even. You have a web on your body. You really want to try and keep this flat so it looks part of like part of the thing. It doesn't look kind of bunched up like this. Put it flat. Try and make these as straight as possible. Okay, and then you now you take your little spider ring and try and get it to stick up here. There we go. It'll probably fall down again. It will probably fall down again. Like my backdrop. <laughs> so here we go. And then, if you're doing a full body, get yourself a maxi skirt and um, the only thing you probably might need to make for this costume is the long arm drapes, but if you're lazy like me, you can just use arm warmers. And then, I have these like kind of neat gloves that look kind of gothic. And I have these nice strappy looking heels. Strappy looking black heels. And I don't have like the big black puff thing, but what are you gonna do? Whoa, what's happening? Anyway, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like and click thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more makeup videos or get ready with new cosplay videos. And happy Halloween!